Welcome to a new video where um, I warn you about something that you might want to see. Um, it is an annular solar eclipse on June 10th, 2021, this year. So, like... You might be asking, if you're like a five-year-old, or like you can be any age, and you don't know what an eclipse is, well, let me teach you a little bit about it. So, there are two types of eclipses, a solar eclipse and a lunar eclipse. So, a lunar eclipse happens when Earth makes a shadow on the moon, so it's hard to see the moon, but... Some of the sunlight from the sun makes it through Earth's atmosphere. And the and there's a thick layer of Earth's atmosphere that changes the light that changes the color of the light of from the sun to a red color and makes the moon red. That's why that's the answer to why the moon, you've sometimes seen a red moon. Wait a second, I have to deal with something. Hey. All right, I'm back. The dog was trying to eat our binoculars. Doesn't know that our binoculars aren't toys. Well, so now it's time to teach you about the solar eclipse. The solar eclipse happens when the moon makes a shadow on the earth. There are three types of lunar eclipses. These are the types of eclipses. So, the types of lunar eclipses are total, which makes, which you can see the moon fully red, partial, which is where the moon is just a little bit red, and but a lot brighter. And penumbral is, you can barely tell that it is red, or even if it is an eclipse. The types of solar eclipses are partial, total, and hybrid. Um, and annular. So, the partial one is when the moon, when you go, when... The moon doesn't cover the whole sun. So you'll so that means it gets a little bit dark. The total eclipse is when the whole moon blocks out the sun. The hybrid eclipse is a mix of a total eclipse and annular eclipse at the same time. And lastly, an annular eclipse is when the moon is at its furthest point from Earth and blocks out the sun. But because it's at its furthest point, you can still see something called the ring of fire around the sun. There's an annular solar eclipse on June 10th. So, and it's going to start directly in the morning. So you have to be on top of like a high mountain. And it's in Canada. It's the place we're going to go to see it. So, also, the ring that the ring of light around the black circle, which is basically the moon blocking out the sun, that ring of light is called the ring of fire, but it can still blind you, so... You better wear your eclipse glasses while watching it. There are some special glasses that allow you to see the sun without being blinded. And let me show you pictures of total solar eclipses. This is a total solar eclipse. See it? See how cool it looks? But this is a total eclipse. We are going to look at an annular solar eclipse. 
This is an annular eclipse. See, this is the ring of fire around the moon. You can see the difference between the total and annular. This was the annular eclipse on December twenty sixth, twenty twenty. Annular solar eclipse. But that ring of fire can still blind you, so you better wear your eclipse glasses. This is a really flat annular eclipse. Let's try partial eclipses. Partial. See, this is a partial solar eclipse. See, so the orange thing is the sun, and it's not getting covered. But it's not getting covered fully, so it's partial. And now let's see lunar eclipses. Total lunar eclipse. This is a total lunar eclipse. See, it makes the moon red, and it can appear any color that is similar to red. Now the part no not partial solar lunar okay this is a partial lunar eclipse see it's not as red and part of it is brighter than the other part. And now the penumbra lunar eclipse. This is what it looks like. You can you can't even tell that it's an eclipse. But the dark part is the part that you can see because the penumbra eclipse, the moon doesn't look red, just like there's like. Do you see the dark spot on the moon? That's how much Earth's shadow is covering. So that was teaching you about eclipses, and there's an annular solar eclipse on June tenth this year, and you have to go to Canada to see it. If you all are already in Canada, you might not be in the right spot to see it. Now, but the last thing I want to show you is a picture of a hybrid solar eclipse. Look, see, the one on the right is the total eclipse. The one on the left is the hybrid. See it? See the difference? The hybrid looks like the annular, and the giant pieces of light you see. Around the black spot, which is the moon during a total solar eclipse, it's called the corona, which you can't see unless there's a solar eclipse happening. This is a hybrid solar eclipse, which is an annular eclipse, except the ring of fire is corona colored and it cannot blind you. Yep. So that's all I can teach you about solar eclipses. I think I'm gonna show you one last thing. Um, so, um, there's a total solar eclipse on April eight, twenty twenty-four. That's the next total solar eclipse. So that day. We're gonna go to Texas to see it because from here we can only see a partial eclipse. So we have to go to Texas. We're gonna go stop by a hotel and sleep there, and then wake up really early in the morning because everyone in Texas will be wanting to see the eclipse. So they're just driving their car. That will make a lot of traffic, and we want to be the first ones to get to the. Good place to get to the place where you can see it. 
so we're going to drive from the hotel down to Brackettville. And if it's cloudy in Brackettville, we'll drive down to somewhere else where it's not cloudy. Because clouds can block you from seeing eclipses. But that was just, I just taught you about things. But, so, there's one last thing I want to show you, which is on YouTube. The thing that you're watching this video on. So, if you're like five years old, you might not understand how cool an eclipse really is in real time. But I will show you that. Alright, this is it. Tonight, Whoa, I'll be eating a falafel wrap with sweet potato fries. Thanks. Splitsies? Whoa, we need to wait for this ad to be done. And then we can see oh, the video. Alright, this is it. So guys, this will show whoever doesn't understand how cool an eclipse really is. How cool it actually is. And why am I and why I am so excited to see this total eclipse on 2024. This is a total solar eclipse in 2006. You just have to wait a little bit, and then you can see it. See, a lot of people are up, waiting for the eclipse to start. With their eclipse glasses and everything. Alright, it's going to happen soon. Yeah, it's going to happen by now, very soon. All right, guys, starting. All right, it should be happening right now. I'm going to get really excited. See how dark it's getting? This is it. This is the part. Do you see how cool that is? That is what we're going to see in 2024. This. Do you see how cool that is? You do not want to miss this eclipse. In 2024. It's starting to end. See, it's getting brighter. That was it. That's how cool it, a total solar eclipse really is. But that is not what we're seeing in... We're not seeing that in June 10th. In Canada. We're seeing that in 2024, okay guys? This video might already be too long, okay guys? So, sub, like, ring the bell, goodbye.